we start off the adventure being able to pick a starter. This chicken looks like he'll be a good fighter. Let's pick him. I hereby give you the name Zeus. Wow, Zeus is crazy powerful. We can take down Mate even though we're weak to her. We need another fighting type. Ralts, Ralts, where are you? No, not you. We need a male Ralts. Hey, we finally found one. That's brilliant. You're a quick little blighter. We're going to call you Ares. What's that, Wally? You want to catch your first Pokemon? Yeah, of course I'll help you. Oh my god, you managed to get a male Ralts on your first encounter. You and I are enemies now. I'm going to prove it to him, though. I'm going to become stronger and better than he could be. Let's find myself a Shroomish. Aha, there you are, Shroomish. Let's catch you. No, stay in the ball, man. Stop trying to take us out. We're just trying to be friends. Stay in the ball. Thank God you've stayed in there. Now you're a part of our team. However, you're a bit of a devil, so we'll call you Hades. Okay, we're pumped up. We finally made it to our first gym. Let's take it out. It's a shame I couldn't get any fighting types as you're legally not allowed to pass the level cap of the gym leader. Shroomish can deal with all this though. Geodude's got incredibly weak special defense, so he can just take that down with a few absorbs after she heals a bit. Now he's down, let's go for the nose pass. I set up a leech seed as I need to drain the life from this guy. His tackle does hit me, but it does barely any damage and I'm going to heal almost all of it back. He then used a harden, but I've only got special moves, so it doesn't matter. So I'm going to tell my Hades to use absorb. Oh my god, it does pitiful damage. What am I supposed to do? I need to get off a stun spot. If this guy's paralyzed, he can hit me less, and that means my leech seed can stack up and take him out. We're working strong and we get him really low. And yes, the leech seed has finally gone and it's taken him out. Wow, I've never been on a boat before. Feeling the breeze go through my hair is fantastic. Hey, what's going on, Zeus? Oh my god, you're evolving? We've got our first fighting type. Finally, Zeus is evolving into a Combuscan. Now, we've got the second gym leader, and Broly thinks he's a fighting type trainer, but he obviously hasn't met me. He thinks he's strong using him a chop, but our Zeus knows Peck, that's super effective and nearly does half damage. I then use my second one, and I get a critical hit. This would have been ideal if it had taken him out, but unfortunately it leaves him on a slither. This means the next turn he's gonna heal up. That's a nightmare for me. My next Peck does some alright damage, and then I go for a double kick. It seems the crits may just be in my favor as I use another one and it actually manages to get a crit, but this time we take him out. This means I haven't taken more damage than I needed to, ready for his Maku hitter. I obviously kick his Maku hitter in the face, but he knocks off my berry and that means I can't heal anymore. However, I did more than half, so I know I'm going to take him out on this next turn. Wow, we've already got two gym badges? That's mental! I then decide to go and explore a cave. And there, I run into a Maku hitter. This guy's a fighting type off the start, so we've got to get him. Ha, you did well and stayed in the ball. I knew you wanted to be my friend. And for that, we're going to call you Apollo. You magma grunts don't scare me. I'm going to take you down anytime and anywhere. Oh, he's your leader, is he? Well, he doesn't scare me either. Let's battle. Wait, why are you just running away? Seems even the boss is too scared to take on me and my gods. Hey, May. Oh, you want another battle? You're not going to stand a chance this time either. You starting off with Shroomish doesn't scare me. I've got Apollo and Apollo can use bulk up to make himself stronger than you'll ever imagine. Plus, you knocking me to half health means nothing as I can just use my Oran Berry and I'm healed up again. Now that that's all done, it's time to take you out. You decide to bring out your Slugma next? Well, that doesn't stand a chance. I've got a fire type too. Zeus, come on out. Zeus, this Slugma can barely touch you. Bulk up until you're in danger from being taken out by him. You're getting low now, buddy. It's time to finally take him out. Attack! Ha! All you've got left is a Marsh Chomp. Use Double Kick. It's nowhere near beefy enough to take it from us. Maybe it's time you just give up, mate. You're not really putting up much of a fight. Well, that was a nice warm-up. Now let's go on to the third gym. Watson thinks he's shocking, but I'm going to show him otherwise. He starts off with a Magnemite, and I use this as an opportunity to use a Power-Up Punch to get myself stronger. <laughs> you think a Thunder Wave is going to stop me? Eat your berry, Apollo. Even without an attack boost, another power-up punch would have taken you out, so let's get him gone. Then out comes his Volt Orb. Get ready to use another power-up punch. Oh, he's Volt switching out. Well, this Magneton's going to take some heavy damage. I almost took him out there, so much so he decides to heal up. But now I'm strong enough where one more is going to finish him off. You may have gone away last time, Volt Orb, but there's nowhere to go now. Feel the strength of my Apollo's palm and get taken out. That's my third gym badge. Fantastic. It's now time we recruit more members to our team. I managed to find myself a Machop. He stays in the ball because he knows we're an amazing team. And we give him the name Poseidon. Huh, <laughs> some more Magma Grunts. All you guys are good for is getting my guys evolved. Apollo is the first one they managed to give the boost to. 
and Hades is the second. That gives me an almost half a fully evolved team. We've made our way through so many grunts that the master has no choice but to face us now. Let's take you on, Maxi. Apollo is more than enough to take down your mighty Anna, so let's go. <laughs> you think a swagger is gonna do anything? I'm equipped to bury to get rid of any confusion. My power-up punch has powered me up that even if your healer take you out, but you knew not to, because it was irrelevant. You've got a gold map? Damn, you confused me. Oh, come on, you've got to hit through, hit your smack down, and yes, you take it out. Good work, Apollo. I really do appreciate you not letting us down there. <laughs> you've only got Kame Rook left? Well, two power-up punches will deal with that in no time whatsoever. I must say, for the leader of a gang, you really are quite terrible. Anyway, I've done the police of the job, but let's carry on with the halfway point of my gym challenge, being Flannery. Now, Flannery's a fire type, and that should be quite scary if she manages to get a burn off. However, my Apollo is crazy strong, and he knows a ground move. The only one that even challenges us is Torkoal, but he just wants to curse us out. Dude, you're a Pokemon, stop trying to swear at us. Anyway, Apollo deals with him in a combination of power-up punches and a bulldoze. And at this point, Numel's incredibly weak, so what is it going to do other than go down? This gym challenge so far isn't really a challenge. When do I actually face world champions? Maybe it's just part of my blood. Let's take on my dad and see if he can do anything against me. Apollo, get power-up punching. Dude, he's yawned at you, but just stay awake. Another power-up punch. Oh, come on, Apollo. Seriously, you're going to fall asleep? At least all he wanted to do was encore you. That gives you enough time to wake up and use the power of punch we were going to use anyway. Quit doing more than half health at this point so you can get him on his next turn while he's truant in. Vigroth is faster than me, but he's not going to hit me incredibly hard thanks to my beefy defense, and there is no chance he can withstand a power of punch from us. All that's left is his final slaking, but we have the exact same thing. He can hit us once, but then we can hit him and take him into the red. He has to use his truant turn, so he can't do anything other than see our fist flying towards him to take him out on this last turn. Seems it's not close to like father like son, because I obliterated him using only one Pokemon. What's up, Latias? Your friend's in trouble? Right, take us there, we'll help you out. I don't know what sort of trouble he's going to be in. I think we need to do some super training. Oh great, it gave us a Dawnstone, that's fantastic. Ares, seems you'll finally be of some help as we can turn you into a fighting type. Take this Dawnstone and evolve. How did I know it was you, Team Magma, that would be causing this trouble? Well, you ain't going anywhere. I know how weak you are. I didn't even need to prepare for this. Easy taken down. I apologize for you, Mateng, taking some damage there, but thanks for your help, Steven. Laios, I could use someone to help traverse against the water and that if you want to come with me. You down? Fantastic. Hey, Poseidon, seems you're finally ready to evolve. Let's get you looking beefy as a machoke, then. Oh, let's just have a little thing, look at our binoculars, see the distance, and oh my god, what was that? Why is there a chameleon right in front of me? I couldn't even tell he was there. Well, no one's making a fool out of me, you're going down. Apologies, you had to see my bad side there, Stephen, but I'm sure you can understand where I'm coming from. Right, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit nervous about this next gym leader. I've heard she's a flying type trainer and my fighting types are incredibly weak to that. She leads with a swallow. Now I've heard this thing likes to evade us, so let's use a sword stance as it uses a move. Oh no, it actually hit us, that's not good news. Ares, please try hit this guy with a psycho cut. Oh no, he's evading. Yes, good job Ares, you managed to hit him. <laughs> next Pokemon's Pelipper. Now I know these things love to protect, we can set up a sword stance here buddy. We don't want to risk it doing any damage, though, so make sure we take it out with a Psycho Cut now. Ugh, she's got Skarmory. Now, this thing is going to resist your Psycho Cut, but we're powerful enough we can hit it. Ugh, we didn't quite take him out. He's going to hit us quite strong. Ah, oh, we lived, thank God. And he made us use our berry, so we're getting some health back. Now, hit him again and we take him out. The final Pokemon is an Altaria. We've got nothing to worry about here, buddy. Use your Psycho Cut and finish this gym. Three quarters of the way of us being able to face the Elite Four and finally become the world champion. Heh, <laughs> them Magma Grunts are on about heading to Mount Pyre. I'd better follow them to make sure they're not doing anything sinister. Wow, Zeus, you're really friendly with me. You want to become a Blaziken? Well, go for it, buddy. Whoa, is that a Meditite? That's a fighting type. We can finally get our sixth team member. You're the one female of the team, buddy, so you're getting the beautiful name of Athena. What are you doing, Maxi? You can't just steal from these old people. They've spent their lives looking after this place. I frankly couldn't care less. I need this to awaken the beast to take you out. 
Time for me to go. Don't just walk past me. Ugh, I can't stop him. He's too strong for me. Hey, Stern, how it's going? I thought I'd just check up on you since it's been a while and I wanted to make sure you and your bowl are out of fine. Oh no, what's going on? We need to get inside. Ugh, no, Team Magma have stolen your submarine. Don't worry, I'll get it back, mate. Team Magma need to stop and realize they can't just be taking stuff from everyone. Courtney, you think you can stop me from retrieving this submarine for Stern? You've got another thought coming. Oh, come on, don't battle me. I don't have time to deal with your camera. Oh, Courtney, why would you do that? They've got away. You've stopped me from saving Stern's submarine. I need to be stronger before I'm able to take him on if he awakens the beast. Let's go for the seventh gym. Tate and Liza, I do know your Soul Rock and Lunatar are pretty strong, so I'm going to bring Ares and Zeus. Both of you, power up punch into the Lunatone. The Soul Rock can't do much to us. Soul Rock makes it sunny, that's not great. And Lunatone, no, don't do it. Don't put my guy to sleep. No, Ares, try and wake up, please, buddy. Zeus, he's put your buddy to sleep. Get rid of that Lunatone to make sure he can't do the same to you. Oh, Soul Rock is going for a solar beam. Ares, you can tank that, but I need you to wake up, mate. Come on, please. Yes, fantastic work, Ares. That power up punch is just what we need. Zeus, do the same. Damn, Zeus, he's hit you for some pretty serious damage. This is his last turn, though, so we don't need to switch you out. Both of you, power up punch into him, unite, and take him out. Phew, that could have got close. I might have had to switch between a few of you and let Ares deal with it, if not. But thankfully, we didn't need to worry about that. Thanks for the badge, Tate and Liza. I really needed that. I only need one more before I can face the league, but I need to be powerful enough to face Maxi first. Oh, I finally traced down the submarine. Thank God. And make sure to let Stern know so he can retrieve it. My journey's not over, though. I've got to make sure Maxi doesn't do this again. Let's go into his lair and take him on. Oh, damn. Archie failed and he's got a type advantage. Am I going to stand a chance? He's using Mighty Anna. Ares, I think you're our only shot here. Go. No, Ares, what are you doing? Why are you using a bulldoze? I want a sword stance here. Find yourself lucky he missed that attack. We really got in trouble if you don't listen to me, Ares. Now please use sword stance this turn. Wait, he's bringing out his wheezing? That makes it free for us. Ares, take him out with the psycho cut. Next up is his crowbar. Now this thing's powerful, but you can just hold on. Make sure you tank the damage from the acrobatics. Beautiful. Now hit him back as hard as you can with a psycho cut to finish him off. My Ian is back out. He's only on half health, but we can't hit him with the Psycho Cut. Make sure you use an Earthquake and finish him off. Right, Maxi, it's me versus you. I'm powered up. All you've got left is your camera up. You don't stand a chance. I'm going to use Earthquake and hope to take you out. <laughs> yes! Not even your Mega Form could help you out there. Powerless before me. Maxi, put the orb down. You're going to awaken the beast. No! No, Maxi, you've got to stop. Oh, whoa! Don't you see what you've done? Look, Groudon's left and he's made the eternal sunshine. We're gonna run out of water. Who is there that can save us from this? What? It's just me? I'm the only one that can do this? But I'm the youngest of us all. I'm not experienced. I just happen to be a powerful trainer. Well, I guess if that's the case, I'm going to have to do it. We're gonna have to give it our all and try and take this Groudon down. I try and wrestle with the Groudon myself. I climb upon his back, but he just takes me deep into his lair. Groudon, why are you doing this? This disgraceful place for the water of endless kindness. I can't let you do that. There's so much life that depends on it. You'd be making a massive mistake. Just Zeus, come out and I'm going to need you to Mega Evolve and Earthquake him. Uh, he did a lot of damage to us. We're going to have to flick about. Oh, he always seems to rest on you, Poseidon. That set us up. I need you to come back out, Zeus. You only need a few hits and you take him down. <laughs> he finally stopped resting. Now we've taken him out. Big bad threat. Seems there was nothing to worry about. As grueling as that was, we did it. We finally saved the world. We can now finally focus on purely becoming the world champion. Wallace, you think these puzzles are going to stop me? They're pathetic. Try harder next time. You're a water type trainer, eh? Seems we're going to have to set up our balloon to sweep you. Hades, take out Love Disc with a Mega Drain. No, don't get immobilized. Finish him off. At least your effect spot did something. But seriously, Hades, if you carry on, you're going to lose too much health and he's going to be able to take you out. Hit him now. Phew, thank God. At least that's the Love Disc gone now. Hades, watch out. This Myotic's quite strong. It knows Ice Beam. But Ice Beam shouldn't be enough to take you out. Wait, no. No, Hades. Hades, he's crit you. No. No. 
Guys, we've lost Hades. His Milotic was too strong for him. He managed to get a crit. We need to think of something. We need to get revenge for him. Ares, that's Admiral of you to come out because I need you here, buddy. Get a sword stance up. He can't take you out. Now hit him with your Psycho Cut. Oh no, he managed to survive. Hold on, Ares. Yes, thank you. Thank you, I really needed this. He's going to heal up. Use another sword stance. That'll ensure we can take him down on the next turn. Now go, get revenge. Get revenge for our fallen comrade. Wallace, you're a fool. You made a mistake to let me even bring two Pokemon. Had it just been the one, you would have beat me here. However, you stood no chance. The rest of your Pokemon shall fall like dominoes upon my Ares power, and you can understand what it's like to lose your entire team. You may think yourself a god killer, but now you're taken out and we have our eighth gym badge. Athena. You realize we've lost a fallen comrade and it's time for you to evolve. Well done. A Medicham is very needed here. Now, Latios, it's time to head to the Elite Four. We need to prove we are the world champions. Not just for ourselves, but for the memory of Hades. Get out of our way, Wally. No, I cannot let you become champion. You don't have a choice, Wally. I'll take you down in seconds. Don't try it. Don't you see, Wally? Even though your Altaria is incredibly strong against my fighting types, you will not win here. My Zeus can get set up without taking any damage from you. And then we can wipe your entire team. I'm sorry it has to go down this way. I'm sorry that not even your own Gallade could face us. You're just not strong enough. We're too powerful. We are the world champion. I see now. Please, I apologize. Take this Dawnstone. It will help you get your own Gallade should you need it. Wow, yeah, cheers, mate. Um, I really needed that. Right, it's now time. The best of the best. Whew. Got all them nerves out. We gotta take him down. We gotta become the champion. Right, it seems Sydney is our first battle. I have no fear, though. Sydney is a dark type trainer. We're super effective against him. He stands no chance. Ares, use sword stance. His mighty Enna swaggers us, but don't worry, I equipped a person berry. You're safe from that, and you get his extra attack boost. Now, finish all of his team. Take them all out in a brick break. First member down, how trivial. Next up is Phoebe. She scares me with a ghost, but I think I know her plan. Leading with the Dusclops, eh? Well, it seems we've got to make our debut, doesn't it, Athena? It's going to confuse you. Use a Carmine to get your special defense and special attack up. Oh, no, no, he cursed you. Oh, what do we do? Ugh. We can't risk you taking the damage. We're gonna have to bring out Zeus. A confused ray on me coming in. That's no good. Zeus, we can't risk you. You're gonna have to switch out. Bring in Athena again. A future site. That gives us a bit of time to protect ourselves. Set up a car mind on your turn in, and he's gonna go for a confused ray. But don't worry, we gave you a berry to shake that off. The time is now. Take him out with a shadow ball. The future site is gonna do a bit of damage to us, but we've raised our special defense, so I'm not too worried. Use a recover. The Burnett's most likely going to go for a Will-O-Wisp, but other than the damage it does, it doesn't affect us because we're being special attackers. Now, on the next turn, take it out with a Shadow Ball. A second Burnett. Oh no, it's used Grudge. We're going to use Shadow Ball and take it out, but that means we lose all our PP. That's no good. Stabilize the Dark type. The only move we have is Psychic. We're going to have to get you out of there. Zeus, come on out. We need you. Use Sword Stance. Well done. He's doing some damage to you though, so we can't risk it again. Take him out with an Earthquake. Last up is a Duskramar. Now, we're not going to take him out, but he can't take you out. Use an Earthquake and knock him into the red. She's going to heal up. We might as well get some chip damage with a Flame Charge so she can't do it again. Now, we're faster. All we need to do is one more Earthquake, and this guy is gone. That was a brilliant fight, you poor Phoebe. One of the hardest that I've had to deal with. Well done, but you just weren't good enough. Next up is Glacier, the Ice type. Now, I feel bad for her. She's got a massive disadvantage against fighting types. I'll lead with Zeus, and now Zeus, you mega evolve and use a sword stance. Now this Glalie can barely touch us. Use sword stance until you're maxed out on your attack. Then go right back at him with a brick break, which will take him out. Wall rain next. Now thankfully, he does have his ice type as well as the water, so a brick break is more than enough for us to take him out. She's got frost lass. We can't hit this with a brick break. It's a ghost type. Make sure you use flame charge and finish it off. Another one? Repeat the process, Zeus. We're almost there. The final Pokemon is a Glalie. We've already done one of these. Use a Brick Break and take it out. I commend you for using all of one type, Glacier, but it just wasn't strong enough when we've got the type advantage. Right, we've got the final member of the E4. It's Drayden. 
We can beat him. I know we can. He's got dragon types which are strong, but we're stronger. I believe in ourselves. And Altaria first. This is one of the scariest members of her team. I'm going to need you to use all your power here, Athena. Calm mind. He'll knock you low with an aerial ace, but we've got a citrus berry to get you over being taken out. Now, he's going to be scared because we boosted our stats and try and boost his. Thankfully, he boosts his physically with cotton guard, so we can take him out with two sidekicks. Unfortunately, though, Athena, we have no choice. There's no way of winning this battle and keeping you alive. You are our goddess, but we need to sacrifice you to win this battle. Flygon's using Sonic Boom, and we've lost her. I truly wish this hadn't been the case, but we had no choice in the matter. We need to win and become the champion. It was either we sacrifice her or the entire team goes down here. One life is better than another five. Zeus, I'm going to need you to mega evolve. Use a sword stance. Oh, he's using Screech. That's perfect. He only knows special moves. We can afford to use another sword stance as he hits you. Now, take him out with a Brick Break. Another Flygon. We know we can take that out. Brick Break again. Kingdra, now had we not set up, this thing would be deadly. Thankfully, though, we can take it out. His last Pokemon is Salamence. Salamence is really strong, and you know he's weakened your attack by intimidating you. It's going to hurt, but the only way we can take him out is you using a brave bird. Thankfully, you survived the recoil. I thank you for putting your body on the line, Zeus, to give us this win. Now, all that's left is to go on and face the champion. Him down means we become the world champion and the strongest trainer. Steven, we've been through a lot. But it's time for you to go down here. Let us fight. He's going to start with his Skarmory. I'm going to lead with Poseidon. Poseidon, use cross chops until you take him out. He won't be able to finish you in this time. Next up is his Claydol. I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting something like an Aggron. This isn't great. Ugh, he's reflected. That means your strength is going to do nothing. Poseidon, please. I'm going to need you to take one for the team. You're going to need to go down here. Otherwise, we will all die. I appreciate the effort you've put in so far, though. Ares, pick up where he left off. You take some damage, but you can get a few sword stance off. Your citrus berry has made it so we can get to the final turn of his reflect. It's worn out. I'm expecting him to use another. Use one final sword stance to up your attack. Oh no, he hit you. That's far from good. We didn't want this. You survived, though, and that's what matters. Finish him off with a brick break. Even though he set up a reflect, we break through it, and that healing meant nothing. We finished him off. Ares, here is time for us to apologize. Agron can always survive an attack. But if we switch out, we've definitely lost. You need to stay in and knock him just slightly off his sturdy. Psycho Cut will do just this. Oh my god, Ares, you managed to dodge his Iron Tail? You've survived. I expected to need to set up with Zeus. But Ares, you're set up at this point. Finish him off with a Brick Break. We're now max attack. You've got enough attack up where we can actually replace your sword stance with the cross chop that you're about to learn. Cradily will go down to a brick break, and so will the Armaldo. It can't stand the strength of you. Now this Metagross is tough. It can't take you out with a bullet punch, so it's going to have to use a move and make itself slower than you. You just learned cross chop though. Brick break wouldn't have been enough to take him out. Cross chop will be. I need you to use that and finish the Metagross off. Fantastic work, Ares. We are now the champions of the world. Our fallen comrades weren't for nothing because we made it this far and we prevailed.